Hey, how's it going? Well, I just wanted to go on a little bit more about movies, and this one probably won't have any, any cuts in it or anything like that. One of the things that I don't like about newer movies is they never try to make people use their mind to create the terror in something. They always, they have the technology to show everything. So they do. And then most of the time to, to create that, it's usually using computer generated, you know, effects of some sort. I'm not saying computer generated effects are bad, but when they're overused, when, when just effects are overused to, to create a feeling about something, you know, I mean, in the 70s, I, I, I think the 1970s were probably one of the best periods for movie making. I may have complained about, you know, the Superman movie having some, having some cheesy elements, some things were kind of laughable, but I still enjoy it more than I do, you know, the, the newer superhero movies, right? And that's because there are, there are some things, maybe not Superman isn't a very good example of this, but there are some things that, you know, are scarier because you can't see them. You know, you, you have to use your mind to create the terror. Um, they also would have to use the script to create, the, the acting, the script, the... Uh, so many things to create a scenario. Whereas now, I mean, they just they just mainly rely on the visuals. Oh, you want to create you want to create this scenario? Let's let's do all the visuals for it, and you, and you have the visuals perfect. You know more than than people could ever imagine. But now they use that to tell the story instead of other methods. I liked it when they had to use other methods. You know, um, I thought. Alien was far more, uh, psych more, far more of a psychological thriller than Aliens, the second movie. Not that the second movie was bad, it was a great movie, but it didn't have the terror that the first one had. You know, in so much of things, it's, it's what you don't see. Obviously, they had some, they had some good visuals in, in the first Alien movie, but there, there are very few scenes in movies now where silence creates a, a feeling. There are, there, occasionally there are some psychological thrillers that do this, and it's cool, and I'm glad that they're still making those. But in sci-fi, there aren't that many quiet moments. They're so focused on having everything be action-y, action-oriented. And I think it's a shame. There's, there's, a, there's, a art, there's an art of movie making that's been lost in people switching over to having technology tell the story. You know? Um, someone asked me, you know, what type of movies do I like? Oh, well, if you don't... If you don't like the things that you mentioned, what do you like? And I'm like, well, I, I like sci-fi. I like psychological thrillers. I like adventure. I like mystery. I like crime dramas. I like drama in general. I like comedy. I, I like a whole slew of, of movies. It's, it's much easier for me to say what I don't like than what I like. And what I don't like, I, I'm not into the, the new superhero movies. I'm not into vampire movies. I'm not into... Uh, zombie movies. I'm not into frat boy movies. You know, frat boy humor. You know, I'm into a lot of other types of humor, but if it's the frat boy humor, it just doesn't it doesn't do anything for me. Um, I'm not into movies where the goal is to just be as to have as much violence and gruesomeness as possible. Yeah, I'm not into that either. Um, but just about everything else I, I'm, I can be really into, you know, I like movies. I, I'm, I'm a, yeah, I just haven't, I haven't had very much money to, to go see a lot of them, but, uh, I like a lot of movies, but if, if the things that I say that I don't like makes you think, well, 
what do you like then? Then you don't have a very big you don't have a very big repertoire of of types of movies you like. You you don't you just I mean I was just amazed someone asked that question. Now maybe it was being asked sarcastically, maybe it was in jest, you know. Now as when it comes to big blockbuster movies that have become out in the past few years, I mean, yeah, maybe maybe you're right. You know, maybe I'm cutting a huge percentage of movies out by by not liking those things. But not everything is some action huge blockbuster film, so. And I, I also, you know, I like a lot of very old movies, too. Um, a lot of the old classics. Um, you know, so... Now, one that's that was hard for me to watch was Gone with the Wind. I still haven't watched the whole thing. I've just watched parts of it. Um, isn't that like a... It's at least three hours. I think it's a four-hour movie. It's like, wow. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm into a lot of types of movies. If... Again, if you think that because I don't like the, uh, you know, the those three, the, the superhero the uh, zombie movies or the vampire movies, if, if that really, if, if not liking those things makes you think I don't like movies, you need to, you need to get out more. You need to, you need to actually watch some more types of movies. You need to widen your, your tastes a little bit. You know, maybe you're not giving a number of types of movies a, a chance. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I, I was, again, I was very surprised someone asked that question. Anyway, I guess I'm going on and on, so uh, uh, blah, 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 blah.